I'm about to kick some ass, baby. Hello, so we're here. Up and close with Carlito and Alexander. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? How are you? How are you doing, guys? Todo bien, todo bien. Muchas gracias por la oportunidad. So I saw you dancing. Yeah. <laughs> we do a little bit of that on the show. A little, some, a some, little some. bit of that? I saw a whole clip of it. This is the first season with boys on the Bomb Squad, which mm -hmm. we did last season and the season before, just girls. So now we're co-ed. And it has been really fun. We, we worked our butts off and and put in a lot of hours for it to for it to be awesome and that's exactly what it is and it's something that that for me is all you know i've been i, I lived in l.a for a long time yeah. and east l.a is very very char characteristic area for yes. the for there um how do you feel that now you're representing the east l.a vibe it's i feel you know awesome about it we film a, basically a lot most of the show we shoot in East LA, so it's very true to what it is and and where we are and the restaurants and and apartment buildings and everything is in in East LA. So it's really cool. You you feel like you know you're really in it. And I think what's what's awesome about it is that even though it's called East Los High and it's and it's and it's um, supposed to be based off of of East Los Angeles, I think every single city has their own kind of East LA type of vibe. You know, every single city, whether it's Chicago, New York, Miami, there's always that definite part that is nothing but Latinos and they have the same problems and the same cultures and everything like that. So I think it's a show that everybody everybody can relate to, whether you're Latino or not. And now all this struggle, yeah, because this is very this deep. You yeah. see a lot of stuff. It's deep. You, you know, originated from Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm. Chicago. Yeah. And, and, and I, I get your point about, you know, because now being Latino in yeah. the U.S. Is, is not a minority yeah. idea yeah. now. So, and in, in high school, even you know, yeah. worse. So, tell me about that experience. Well, how was your experience in high school and your experience in high school and how you project that into it? Oh, man, for me, bro, like my high school, I went to a school with nothing but blacks, bro. It was nothing but black people. <laughs> um, and those are my homies. Shout out to all my blacks in the world. Um, but, um, yeah, man, for me, it was like I was the only Puerto Rican slash Mexican dude growing up in the hood with all these other dudes and other cultures, but I was the only one of my kind. So it's, it's, it's amazing now to actually have a show that's actually catered to just the Latin public. You know, when you watch any show on Fox or any other channel, you have have pretty much predominantly every other culture except the Latino and they'll have one person there and then they'll give them a name Maria or Victor or Hector and then boom there's a Latin there's a Latin character like I feel like with this we're actually talking about real life problems and we're actually giving back to our culture and our community and kind of through this we're changing other people's mind states and perceptions of other things that they normally wouldn't think on their own as far as politics and, and the way they view our, our own culture. You know? How about you? I, uh, I definitely had sort of a similar uh, high school experience as East Los High. Um, except, you know, growing up, I, I, I always wished I had something to watch like East Los High. I feel like when I was growing up and in high school, middle school, um, you know, we would, we would, they would play these PSAs in like health class and, it, and you know, all these things would, they would be okay to talk about, but still some things were shunned upon like you never were supposed to talk about. So I feel really, really grateful to be part of, you know, something that represents that it's okay to talk about certain issues or messages or whatever it may be. It's okay to talk about it and, and to share with everyone. And now tell me why kids, high school students, and everybody in the Latino family should go and start watching His Los Ay. It's very relatable. I feel like a lot of the situations, whether it, hap has, hap it has happened to you you might, or you might know somebody who's gone through something, or something like you know, Camila's going through, or Gina, or Eddie, anyone. It's I feel like everybody can really relate. It's not just for you know teens; it's for everyone. And also, I feel like what's very important about it is, you know. I, I speak firsthand, you know, I have a little brother and I have a little sister and, you know, we're, we're both different age ages. My little sister just turned 21. Uh, my little brother just turned 12 yesterday. Um, so, and I'm, I'm going to be 26 tomorrow. So there's a big, huge age gap and I've noticed that as the years progress, it's harder and harder for the parents to, to have more in common with their kids. You know, it's hard to talk to them. And I feel like, you know, these kids, they, they kind of see and do and act what they see on TV and kind of their video games and all this other stuff. So I feel like this show kind of talks about those problems or those those events that is kind of hard for a parent to to vocalize to their own kid like they should you know there will be something to learn from this show rather than any other show that they can just watch and take something negative from it all right well yeah. thank you very much for thank the you. opportunity thank best you. of luck thank and you so much you. say hi to LA when you go back Igualmente. yeah we will Gracias. Bye. Gracias. <laughs> Thank you.
states and perceptions of other things that they normally wouldn't think on their own as far as politics and, and the way they view our, our own culture. It represents that it's okay to talk about certain issues or messages or whatever it may be, it's okay to talk about it.